Thanks for joining. Let's take a look at this week's Onshape Tech Tip. Often in mechanical design, rotational and linear movement between components are required. In this assembly, we have a motor attached to a gearbox that drives a rack and pinion setup. We can easily capture the movement between our rack, or straight track, and pinion, or gear, using a rack and pinion relation. Our assembly already contains a revolute mate between the gearbox and pinion, and a slider mate between the origin and rack. We can model the movement between these two components using the rack and pinion relation. The rack and pinion relation relates a mate with rotational degrees of freedom to a mate with linear degrees of freedom. Open the rack and pinion relation, then select the revolute and slider mates. These two mates provide the exact degrees of freedom required for the relation. Input a distance per revolution. This value defines the amount of linear travel. For every revolution of the pinion, the rack moves linearly by this amount. Finally, to have the movement of both the rack and pinion move opposite of each other, check reverse direction. With all parameters set, accept the dialog. Because we have that relation created, moving one object updates the position of the other. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more video tech tips.